a little while ago I made a homemade overlay for the Sega Star Trek uh, tactical simulator thing. I think that's what it's called. Uh, that runs on the Vectrex uh, with a uh, Vec Fever or I think maybe the Pytrex uh, as well. And uh, here's the overlay. Um, you know, it's got colors in pretty much the right places. Um, but this is sort of glued together in multiple layers and uh, double-sided tape and doesn't line up exactly well. And it worked okay, but, you know, I wasn't 100% happy with it. You see, see through it there, and that hole's kind of too big. This, uh, where your spaceship is on the overhead view. And, you know, it was okay, but, you know, um, I'm not really good at making overlays, I guess. Maybe I could try harder. But uh, what I decided to do was uh, make a digital one with the transparent LCD that I have on the Vectrex. Uh, so I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, here's a playback of the um, handmade overlay that I made. Uh, you can see it's not perfect. It's blurry in some areas. There's seams where the light shines through. The circle in the middle is too big. Uh, there's no yellow area in the bottom area. Um, it's uh, still it's okay. I just wasn't in love with it. So here's a uh, Star Trek, the arcade. Uh, game running on the Pytrex with a digital color overlay. So here I was able to uh, have a much tighter yellow area for the ship. Uh, you know, really easy to dial it in. And I also made this area right here yellow. Uh, the rest of the sort of radar area, sonar, um, or sensor area is red. Uh, and then uh, the, the status uh, shields and photon torpedo and warp uh, over here are different colors and the score is uh, purple which is pretty close to the arcade. And you know, always go for the star bases first, which I didn't do. Because you get extra stuff. So you know, why not? The warp, the photon, and well that's it, but you can see if anything was off, all I have to do is bring this overlay image, which is a JPEG image, uh, into Photoshop and, uh, you know, adjust it, move it around, whatever I want, change the colors, um, whatever I needed to do, and I can have it really dialed in. Um, so this also worked really well for uh, um, uh, not Moon Patrol. What's it called? Vector Patrol. So let me show you that. So what a great game, uh, Vector Patrol. Uh, and I didn't have an overlay for it, so I made one in the digital uh, digital display and. I have sort of a gradient going on here from green to blues, and then a little yellow area here. Um, and then up on top, the scores uh, have some more colors. So let's just play it. Oh, there you can see the scores. Uh, you get a really fine, you know, uh, different colors. And if it was off, I could adjust it in Photoshop and re-upload it. So as I've been playing with the uh, 
the color overlay. You know, there's lots of different ways you can use it. I found what works best is having static overlays. They're just dialed in really well, even though there are ways of doing uh, different motion color overlays. Um, it can be a little difficult to set up. Um, it works, just sometimes I just want to play and quickly load a game and have a nice overlay. Anyway, you get, you get the idea. I will now die. <laughs> Game over.